Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your April New Love Tarot reading. Scorpio, we're looking at what new love may be coming your way. So we do have the Magical Mermaids uh, deck here. We're going to get some opening messages and see what's going on. So this could be perhaps somebody uh, you're having a crush on or vice versa. It could be maybe a missed opportunity from the past coming back. Maybe it's someone you know, never been romantically involved with. You could be just recently dating somebody, getting to know them, or this could be someone totally new coming into your life as well. It's not about someone you've already had a romantic or a relationship with or whatever the case may be. So it's not about exes or anything like that. So let's see Scorpio. If you find this does not resonate at all, that's totally fine. You can leave it for someone else. You can also check out other readings on the channel. I do have some listed below, so you can check those out as well. But welcome in, Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. And I guess, depending on what comes out, if you think you need to uh, switch it around, you can do that. Uh, it depends. But anyway... Scorpio. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, so Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. Healing Heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So I'm going get, to get these out, see what's going on, and then we're going to take the tarot and kind of clarify each message for you. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. And have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So I'm kind of feeling like you're Scorpio. Um, there could be somebody you're connected to. Um... And it, it could be, maybe it's just a friend. Maybe it's someone that, uh, it, and it's not a relationship, but it could be somebody that you're kind of seeing on and off, or maybe, you know, your FWBs, I don't know, but it's not a relationship. So it could be that, you know, just having fun or whatever the case may be. And maybe, you know, someone here did say, you know, I don't want a relationship, you know, and maybe someone is still in the process of healing their heart. And I'm kind of feeling like here, Scorpio, you may be like, okay, I know this person's healing, but I feel like in time, like you're having faith, like in time, this is going to turn into something more. So right now I feel like it's just, you know, fun, no pressure, hanging out, whether it's just as friends or um, buddies or whatever, you know, you want to call it. Maybe it's not intimate at all. Maybe it's it's just like uh, friends, friends, and that's it. But someone here is trying, is having faith that divine magic is going to work here and that once someone's heart is healed, there may be a promise here of maybe a relationship down the road. So that's kind of what I'm feeling like. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what we have for you. So we're going to clarify each message and see what we get. We do have the Legacy of the Divine Tarot here. And let's see. Let's see. For, or some of you may, you know, may, maybe some of you have healed your heart and you're just out there having fun, friends, family, social circles, whatever. Um, and you're just like, having faith that whatever is meant for you will come in for you no you know however it's meant to be it's just kind of letting the divine uh bring it to you as it's meant to so it could be that as well but we'll see when we get into the tower all right so let's see we're going to clarify each message here and see what we get the scorpio okay so we got the nine of cups which is a very single energy seven of swords in reverse which is good we're kind of open to whatever's coming our way there's no running out of fear anything like that the world definitely endings and new beginnings could be moving traveling or distance or maybe even connecting uh through social media you know maybe put yourself on some dating apps um whatever the case may be knight of cups in reverse i feel like maybe some of you aren't dating anyone right now so really there's no so even if this is someone you're having fun with whatever that means there's no actual like real like courting, dating, or getting to know. It's just kind of like hanging out, having fun. Or um, some of you like are open to it, but not really 
having in anyone around you or the opportunity to really date someone. But let's see. Two of Wands. But a new path is going to be opening up here. It's good. Strength in reverse. You may be losing... Uh, I mean, strength upright would be really good because that's about overcoming. It's strong, courageous, and brave. Being powerful in our power as well. Justice. So there's something coming in here meant for you. Knight of Swords. And it may come in relatively quickly out of the blue. So where you may be losing kind of faith or hope with that uh, strength in reverse. Like, okay, I, I've opened myself up to the universe. I'm open to whatever comes my way. I've healed my heart, maybe of past issues. I'm out there having fun, you know, getting myself out there. But yet, yeah, kind of feeling like nothing's happening. But then here, the two of wands, something is about to open up here. It could be a soul contrast, something meant to be. And it may happen out of the blue, all of a sudden... It may happen uh, during like a little bit of a chaotic situation or something like that, whatever that means. Like uh, either an unusual circumstance or a little bit of a chaotic situation or something. And, and not anything bad, but um, so it may not be under normal circumstances. Like, you know, you just run into someone, you start talking to them, and then you end up going on a date or someone sets you up or you meet online. It's going to be something different. That's kind of what I feel. Okay, so let's see. We do have uh, Libra, Scorpio, Leo. Leo, Christopher, Scorpio. And what was this over here? Scorpio again. So a lot of your energy is showing up here. Came of Wands reversed. Hmm. Like losing that fire, the passion maybe. And maybe starting to go into self-protection mode with the Four of Pentacles here. But look, we got a king and queens here. A very stable, grounded energy here. So, just saying. All right. So, let's see what playtime is about for you, Scorpio. What is playtime about for Scorpio? What do we need to know? Playtime for Scorpio. Let's see. Playtime for Scorpio. Six of Wands, success and victory. Ace of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Ten of Cups. So, I mean, I keep feeling like you're Scorpio. You're like, I, I just don't get it. I'm getting myself out there. I'm doing all the things. But I'm kind of lacking the fire, the passion, or the belief that something's actually going to happen for me. But we do have this success in the Ten of Cups here. So, I'm like, don't, don't give up on getting your... You know, keep putting yourself out there. Page of Swords reversed. This could be somebody that... Um, now, like, some of you who are hoping, like, a situation may turn into romance or something. Um, but you know someone's healing, so it's going to take time. It, it could be that that's going on, too. But you also could have someone new coming in. Um, so you'll have to take what resonates. But the Page of Swords in Reverse is could be someone that you've never met before um, as well. Fool in Reverse, though. A little bit of a stuck energy there. But there's a Lovers. There we go. So there's a Soul Connection right here. This I feel like this is someone you don't know. Um, let's see. We'll get a little more on that. Tower in Reverse. Been a long time coming for you, I feel. I feel like you feel like this is like a long time coming. And, you're, and I feel like you're getting a little bit frustrated. Maybe for some of you, it's been like almost a year. And it's like, you know, I've been ready to let new love in, to meet somebody. And it's been like almost, I mean, we started with the Nine of Cups. So it could be like nine months, actually. And you're like, you know what? But we have the Tower here, which is Aries energy. We are in Aries season right now. And then we have the Lovers right here. A Magician in Reverse, though. Hmm. I definitely feel like for some of you, um, like I said, there could be one person that you're really hoping for, but that's taking so much time. That could be what's affecting this too. But I, I do feel like you've got somebody new coming in here too. Play, pay attention to any situations that go on for you in the near future that are a little like odd or something strange happens or an unusual circumstance or something out of the blue or maybe a little, little chaotic you know, uh, you may be, I don't know, um, 
coming home from work and there's a little bit of an accident and you get out of your car and you start talking to somebody that could be the person i mean it could be something like that you know um anyway let's see we do have here um aquarius gemini aquarius again aries gemini uh virgo let's see what's on the bottom two of swords a little blocked off energy here unsure hangman so kind of in limbo here we do have the queen of wands did we have the king i thought we had the king somewhere i think it was reversed right oh all right so i do feel like there's a lot going on here for some of you i feel but let's see what this divine magic so let's see how things are going to play out here you know how is this going to play out for scorpio with this divine magic what is that about can we get more answers for new love for scorpio chariot yeah something coming in fast or from a distance traveling movement success victory balance five of cups there's some sort of disappointment though three of wands something in the very very near future seven of wands so this is what i got for some of you <sighs> okay let me get the rest out here empress in reverse four of swords so some of you that are hoping for something to move forward with somebody but you know you're just kind of having fun with it or whatever and you're hoping down the road this person's going to heal and you'll be together I, i'm not so sure about that i feel like during that time where you know maybe this person says again i don't want a relationship or whatever and you're like well okay and you may be disappointed over that because we do have the five of cups and then the healing here with the four of swords and then the empress in reverse that could really knock you for a loop but then we have the three of wands here which means there's something coming in for you because we do have that seven of wands where someone could have their still a little bit of a wall up or blocked energy oh my god three of swords yeah heartache and disappointment king of cups in reverse as somebody here may i feel like that person that you you want a relationship with i don't know if that's going to happen but i feel like there's someone coming someone new coming in for you about the same time you have this big realization that okay this person is just is never going to be ready and it's going to be very heartbreaking for you but you know that I feel like that's going to happen and this new person's coming in so what an awful time for a new person to come in which can be really good for you when you may be feeling disappointment over something you were hoping for hmm we got uh pisces libra taurus cancer up there let's see yeah ace of pentacles in reverse yeah something not getting off the ground here king of swords someone could be very blunt direct to the point maybe the person you were hoping for maybe they went through a divorce and you're like well in time you know maybe this person will you know will have that connection but i feel like because we do have temperance here of the soulmate card uh i think the universe is bringing you in someone else to be honest all right scorpio so let's see here for new love and i know this got all over the place but you know you can't help what comes out here so don't get mad at me get mad at the cards all right let's see so let's see have faith what do you need to know about that your prayers are manifesting so i think you're going to get the kind of love you want relationship you want but it may not be with the person you want okay let's see nine of pentacles single abundant prosperous having everything we need oh look at that a true emperor so yeah you have a true emperor coming in i don't think it's that other person you were hoping for this is somebody who's going to be single independent maybe a business owner entrepreneur they're single ready to go <laughs> not like this person you were hoping uh, and waiting for maybe for a very long time but this person could be very very successful with the emperor energy here a leader business owner entrepreneur like i said um very single and abundant ready to go four of pentacles and somebody may hold back here like, hmm, i don't know about this seven of coins in reverse this person is not going to hesitate they're not going to keep you waiting they're not going to um play games with you not the seven of pentacles in reverse page of cups romantic gesture flirting um sincere gesture as well 
So there's romance there, no offer. Oh my gosh, and the Ace of Cups. Wow, exactly everything I had said here. Six of Cups. You may be still dreaming about that past person with this new love is trying to come in. Six of Coins in reverse. Get yourself balanced. Maybe some, some of you need, need to hear this because if you're waiting on someone, I, I don't know about that, but I feel like someone new is coming in or maybe you have recently met somebody new, but maybe you haven't reciprocated. Um, or Maybe if you need to reverse the energies, you can do that as well. So whatever that means for you, but I do feel like there is a chance to reciprocate, but we need to let go of someone we've been waiting on to let this new love in. We do have like the page and the ace, which could be like the two of cups. So this person is going to be abundant, ready to go. No hesitation, no playing around. Oh, what a time for someone new to come in. Scorpio, if that res resonates for you. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict here. Inner conflict, outer conflict. Somebody's wish not coming true here with the star reversed. Then something new and exciting else comes in too. Trying to get your attention, Scorpio. You know, Eight of Swords, getting ourselves unstuck and moving forward into something new, which can be uh, better for you. And there is room for growth and building here too, a foundation. And it's a soulmate energy right here, just saying. So we're going to get you some, um, now we are in Aries season, like I said, and we did have the tower here. So, all right, I see someone that could be really, really good um, for you. If it did resonate, does resonate, please do give me a comment. Let me know. Um, give it a like. All the great things would be greatly appreciated. And I do have a website. You can check that out down below. Link is down there. So you can check out all my socials if you want to shop the merch or shop for yourself, uh, tarot, oracle, whatever, um, buy me a latte or a tip or um, send me something on my wish list. You could do that as well, all on that one website. All right. Okay, Scorpio. So let's see what this deck has to offer you. This is the universal love oracle. What does Scorpio need to know? Meditation. So a lot of thinking, contemplating. Wait, I feel like waiting. <laughs> Healing sound. So that's twice we have healing here. Healing heart and healing sound. So definitely um, like waiting for someone to heal, I feel. Heaven on earth. That is kind of, um, well, earth is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this could be a very stable, grounded, new kind of connection coming in for you. And I feel like that heaven energy, it's kind of like that dreamy energy of, wishing and dreaming and hoping on someone else when something here could be real, very real with the earth energy. Relationship. Yep, there's a relationship coming in for you, Scorpio. A real relationship, not a waiting kind of relationship because someone here is retreating. And I feel like you need to retreat your energy back because I don't know, I just feel like this person you may be waiting on. And we do have the mystic here. So really trust your intuition, higher knowing you know about this and maybe your intuition has been telling you but you haven't been listening um and we kind of have the star twice here you know for wish fulfillment as well but i think this new person is going to be everything you've wanted out of the other person but i just don't think the other person is going to be ready um maybe in the future but it depends how long you want to wait but i see you do have something really great here at least to explore uh, coming in for you, um, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.